Okay. All right. Um, what's up, guys? My name is Kenny. Um, I like to talk about music and records and vinyls and whatever. Uh, I collect records. I've gotten a pretty decent collection. I probably have like close to 80. I haven't really counted in a while, so I'm just assuming. So if it counts off, I'm not really keeping track. But yeah, I just wanted to come on here and just uh, talk about my records a bit. Um, they're in no particular order, but like I said, these things would take a bit. So I'm just gonna go through them. If they have a cool pressing, I'll show you how they are pressed. And uh, I'll just name you like a, a song or two that I really enjoy off it, my favorite. But uh, yeah. Let's get going. So first one up, we got Travis Scott's Rodeo. By the way, like I said, no particular order. I have another uh, Travis Scott record and it's definitely not the next one up. But like I said, this right here is an amazing. Uh, people argue DS2 over this for best trap. I like DS2 a lot, but I would say this is the best trap album of all time. Uh, my favorite song off this is probably 90210, Maria I'm Drunk with Justin Bieber. Pretty good stuff, but yeah, Travis Scott's Rodeo. Next, I got Allison Chain Dirt. Um, I'm a big grunge guy. Um, my rock preferably is 90s rock. Um, it just, it hits, you know. The stuff they talk about, it's like mental issues and like um, stuff that's real, and that's why I really gravitate towards grunge. But like I said, Allison Chains and Mixed Metal too, which is pretty good stuff. But yeah, Allison Chains, Dirt, it's a classic. Uh, what is my favorite song off this thing? But there's tons of great hits, but there you go. Here we have um, The Weeknd After Hours. Um, any millennial or um, any uh, person born in this uh, day and age would tell you. This is some good stuff right here. Like I said, this is a uh, one that a lot of people have listened to and have given high praise to. Rightfully so. I think this is his second best project behind another. But I would say probably my favorite song off this is let's just look at the track. Alone Again. I love Alone Again. I know it's the first track, but Alone Again, I don't know, the transition, the sound, his voice, really good. But there's hits all across here. Um, this one is kind of expensive. Uh, I believe it was like $80 when I bought it, and it has a super cool splatter right here. Blood splatter, so there you go. Uh, next up, we got Dreamer Boy. Um, Dreamer Boy is kind of like, um, he's not as like known as these other artists I have. It's definitely like the least known record I have in all my collection. Um, but his first album that came out really was um, played throughout all my high school, and then this came out. Um, I think the year I graduated, 21. So, yeah, All the Ways We're Together by Drew and Boy. It's really good. I would say um, my favorite song off this thing has to be uh, Don't Be a Fool. Don't Be a Fool. <clears throat> Next up, we got another classic for people that are my age. Lana Del Rey, Born to Die. Um, this thing right here. Uh, was my introduction to Lana. I need to get all her records. I only have this one, sadly. But, uh, like I said, it's so tender, it's so soft, but in the best way possible. And, um, let me see. I think my favorite has to be probably Diet Mountain Dew. I really mess with the beat, but yeah, Lana. Next up, we got Billie Eilish, uh, her newest record, Happier Than Ever. Uh, like I said, I feel like a lot of people don't talk about this as much as they should be talking about it. Like, don't get me wrong, it's big, it's Billy. But in the sense of, I remember when her sophomore album came out, it was talked about a lot more, but this one doesn't seem to get mentioned as much. But this is a fantastic record, super different uh, production, and uh, the subject matter she's talking about is a little different from the other stuff she had done previous. But my favorite song probably is Happier Than Ever. I mean, how could it not be? It has this cool little like yellowish you know yellowish record but there you go next up we got Tali the creator Igor Igor is classic this is a classic I'm happy he won his Grammy um it's interesting because when this came out I remember Twitter was going crazy and 
I was a little late to Tyler, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not one of those fans that was fans with him day one. Um, so like, before this came out, like a couple months, that's when I, I really started to get into like Flower Boy and I really was like, wow, this is actually good music that I just really didn't give a chance. And so this is probably the record that was like the closest time that I was going on to. But now Tyler is, if not my favorite rapper at the moment. Um, it's so hard to pick a favorite off this one or this album. Um, probably New Magic Wand. It's just grimy. It's dirty. You can really feel what he's saying, you know, about jealousy. But yeah, it's about to create an Eeyore. <clears throat> Next up, my favorite Michael Jackson. I think this is his best album. Off the Wall by Michael Jackson. Um, his entry into uh, people's ears was thanks uh, to this to this record right here. I remember playing a lot of Michael Jackson growing up. I was a huge Michael Jackson fan. I used to dance, had the game. Um, Michael's just, uh, he's iconic, you know, when he did. But this album, it's groovy. It's uh, it's feel good. It's uh, soulful, you know. There's a lot, of, a lot of good things about this album that make me, make me happy. When I listen to this thing, it legitimately makes me happy throughout the whole thing. Um, my favorite song off this is probably rock with you but if you want a better answer it's like not as you know cliche i like uh can't help it super sly production just really like a uh, translucent i feel like all right next up we have enter the chamber wu-tang uh wu-tang like I said the classic uh rizzo method man all those cats are from this group I need to get their other records, but this is currently the only one I have. I think I got it because it was like cheap. Like I don't love, love this record, but I definitely enjoy it. But I got it because it was cheap. But um, I think my favorite, favorite song has to be, I know Cream is like the cliche, but Cream is fire. But I also like Bring the Records. But yeah, there we go. Alrighty, next up we got Starboy. Like I said, people who collect records or get into records, this is a record you'll see with them a lot. And it's because it's Starboy. It's really easy to listen to, really good pop, done well in my opinion. Not every song hits, and that's okay. But like I said, during this time, it was more like mainstream, mainstream, like going crazy. Uh, favorite song off this thing is probably Stargirl Interlude, even though it's an interlude. I just feel like people who know, know that Stargirl Interlude freaking hits you know but yeah oh yeah it also has this uh cool little red i don't have the blue one but there you go all righty call me if you get lost probably my favorite rap album 2021 when this thing came out estate sale just came out so i'm curious if you're gonna get a vinyl i don't want to like uh get multiple albums on vinyl but for the estate sale i feel like it has just enough where I can get another record of this album. But no, man, this album is freaking awesome. Um, the first time I heard it, it was like something I never heard before in the sense like it takes you to like a tropical island with good bars, uh, great production. And of course, um, it's just it's just a really, really good album. Uh, like I said, y'all all probably heard this. This is pretty mainstream stuff. Uh, favorite song off this is... Um, the one to flow away and I don't know why I'm blanking on it right now you know what I'm talking about so one a little Wayne and then off the estate so I don't have it um sorry not sorry it just hits but there you go okay this one is for middle school nostalgia um I don't listen to this thing as much to be honest uh but i'm pretty sure we all have phases and that's the cool thing about music you have phases you have things you really loved at one point and you kind of grew up but you can still appreciate it just because there's a lot of memories um like i said i was in middle school whenever i was bumping this like fifth sixth grade going crazy with it uh but come on now it's it's just it's just a happy place in my heart but tearing my heart is probably my favorite thing off this record um but yeah there we go Astro World is up next by Travis Scott. I remember when this thing came out, everybody was talking about it. Like I said, this album's fire. I don't get why people crap on it sometimes. 
Um, it is not his best record. Rodeo is his best, and I will stand by that. It's his second. But this album is awesome still. It really is. The production, you listen to it today, you know, five years later, whenever it came out, and it's still like, whoa. Like, There's not a lot of rap that, start, that sounds like Trap Scott out there right now. But, yeah, probably uh, my favorite uh, song off it is Can't Say with Don Tolliver. Um, big Don Tolliver fan. He just doesn't make vinyls. And I'm just kind of torn about that. But, Can't Say, Stop Trying to Be God, um, Stargazing, when the trailer dropped. If you know, you know. It's fire. Alrighty. This was one of those records that... I didn't know I was gonna love as much. Cause I've always liked Bruno, but never enough to be like buying his stuff, you know what I'm saying? But this album right here is so much fun, so much soul, so much uh, call out and throwback to Motown and the, all the groove with it. It's just, it's awesome. This album's so awesome. I've known about Anderson Pack. I'm happy people are recognizing him because of this thing. Cause like I said, he's a master drummer. The guy can drum like crazy. But no, um, favorite song off this is uh, After Last Night. Such a groove. What, Thundercat? Come on now. Uh, but this is uh, the record. It's like, a, it's like a goal to it. Pretty cool stuff, but yeah. Very fun album. I can listen to that thing a lot. Alrighty. Next up, next up. We have System of a Down, Toxicity. Um, this thing right here, um, I'm a big also new metal guy, so like corn. I don't have any corn, surprisingly. I wish I had some corn. I should probably get on that, but records are cheap, very cheap. That's why, that's why I haven't gotten it yet. But no, um, System of Down Toxicity, this is a classic. Uh, like I said, people know like the top singles off it, like Chop Suey, Aerials, you know, BYLB, it's all good. But uh, this whole thing just. It fucking shreds, bro. It goes so fucking hard. Um, favorite songs off this thing. Chop Suey, Aerials. Also, uh, I really like Bounce and Prison Song as well. But, yeah. There we go. Uh, this goes back to the phase thing. I'm so sad Post Malone isn't producing as high quality as he once was. This isn't a groundbreaking breaking record by any means. Like, it's not in my top. 10 hell probably not even my top 50 but it's just it's comfort you know it's comfort but this is beer box about me by uh post malone i love the cover um this right here is probably like freshman year when i was like oh really like post malone uh faithful it's truthful like just like all about post malone it has this cool little uh translucent like cover it's not really translucent it's like kind of grayish but it's kind of it's really sick it's hard to see but no man this album right here this is freshman year for me right here um it does have one of my favorite songs of all time that is stay i'm sorry nothing can beat stay you know high school breakups yeah you know. next up i feel like another uh classic when you're talking when people get into vinyl collecting that is pink floyd uh dark side of the moon um, honestly, when I first listened to this thing, I was amazed by the cohesiveness, um, just all around, just like how much they put so much thought in every song and made sure that it was telling a story. And Dark Side of the Moon is a classic. Um, I did get the other stuff like Animals and yeah, I don't know. This album though, just the first time I listened to it blew my mind. But yeah, favorite song off this is probably Great King Sky. Just those riffs that girl's hitting, you know? Makes me feel something. I actually have a theory about it, but I'm not gonna talk about it right now. But this is Dark Side of the Moon. Alrighty. Next up, we got Nirvana, Nevermind. Classic album cover, one of my favorite album covers, actually. Um, this thing right here, like I said, I'm a grunge fan. Um, that's Nirvana. Nirvana was the forefront of the big four. Um, with that said, though, I feel like people crap on Nirvana, too. And I'm just like, they're Nirvana for a reason. Like, yeah, they don't have to be your favorite, but you don't have to shit on them, if that makes sense. But no, man, this thing's awesome. Uh, In Bloom is probably my favorite off this uh, record. But yeah, 
Never mind Moon Roma, classic. Alrighty, next up, like I said, we got the neighborhood right here. I love you. I need to get their other up records, like Chippy Chrome, big fan of that one. But no, this thing right here, like I said, it's not crazy by any means, but every song is a good, solid song. You know what I'm saying? This was when it was like, I'm the mysterious guy, you know, type vibes with this thing. But uh, Sweater Weather is my favorite song. Um, it was my first introduction to this band. Um, I believe it's her lead single off this thing. And one of the things that got me into like indie alternative, even though it's not as indie alternative as it's gone. But no, I love you. Oh yeah, by the way, Amazon, you kind of fucked this up. It's kind of like bent whenever I got it uh, a few years ago. All right, and next up, we got Nas with Illmatic. He's one of the greatest rappers of all time, and rightfully so. His wordplay, his lyricism, awesome. It's like him and MF Doom, in my opinion. But no, man, this thing's awesome. If uh, if you're really trying to take in a... If you're really trying to listen to, like, lyrics and wordplay, it's probably that album for you. But uh, I don't spin this as much just because... I don't know, I spent other stuff before it, but it's still really solid. Uh, favorite song off this thing is probably The World Is Yours or New York State of Mine. But yeah, no matter who knows. I'm not gonna lie, I'm ashamed I have this record. This is probably like the one I'm like, I don't know why I have this thing. I mean, I do know why I have this thing, but let me explain. Tickets to My Downfall by MGK. By the way, this cover sucks compared to the other. Um, it's crazy that I like pop punk a lot. I didn't get a Green Day album before this. I didn't get Blink's uh, 182's uh, album before I got this, but I got an MGK as my first pop punk. I don't know, man. It's just, you know, he may be, you know, painting the same uh, shades of color, but I mean, I think he's having fun. I can really sense that with this record. It's not crazy. The lyrics aren't the best. The riffs aren't super creative it's pretty easy standard stuff but i don't know it's just fun to me man and like i think pop punk at the root of it you just gotta have fun and just let go and so like i said if people want to shit on it that's cool his next album mainstream salad that's that's a different story but this album it's not bad it's really not oh um sorry favorite song is for kb2 with halsey all righty next we got Hybrid Theory by Linkin Park. Um, this thing right here is a classic. Uh, Linkin Park, where they were in their own realm. I believe they came at a point where they were the force front uh, of the face of rock at one point. Uh, but no, man, Chester's voice, it's just, it's different, dude. Chester can freaking belt, he can scream, he can whatever. He was gone too soon, sadly, just like Kurt. But no, man, this is a classic, dude. Uh, it has a cool little, you know, simple little red, but it's still cool to me. Favorite song of this is probably... Hmm. I really like One Step Closer. I had another option, but I'll, I'll pick One Step Closer. Next up, we got some Led Zeppelin. This is Led Zeppelin 4. Um, like I said, people who like classic rock they will definitely tell you led zeppelin is the face of classic rock in my opinion uh no man this thing's awesome dude um just really cool riffs um interesting songwriting um i don't know man this band like i said they're considered legends and rightfully so um robert plant inspired one of your favorite bands called credit band fleet i don't know if you've heard of them um favorite song off this thing i'm sorry it's stairway to heaven i know so creative okay next up we got american teen this is also a freshman year type deal i don't spin this like hardly ever but it's there just for if i want to look back when i was a freshman that's good. but yeah this is khalid's uh best album argue with me he hasn't put out anything that's come close to this it's been very blah but when khalid first came out he was the next big thing he was the hot he was the hot shot you know and he's cool he's from texas um I'm from Texas. So cool stuff, man. Uh probably favorite song off this thing is gonna be 
Mm. I'd probably say another set up song. Alrighty. Next up, we got a classic. Look at that, it's falling apart. We have a classic and good kid, Mad City. Uh, Kendrick Lamar is the greatest rapper of all time. Um, I think Tupac's good enough, but trust me, I don't even consider him top 10. I'm just being honest. You can come at me. That's cool. Music is opinions. You're just you're just wrong with yours. Uh, no, man, this thing is awesome, dude. Uh, the storytelling on this is very, very introspective. Um, it paints a picture of how it was uh, growing up in the streets of Compton and how it could corrupt you. Uh, but this is my introduction to Kendrick, and I will be forever grateful for it. Uh, favorite song off this thing? Oh, that's gonna be tough. Um, Sorry, I'm looking at it. It's because I don't have the best memory. Um, I'm, pick, I'm picking uh, the recipe with Dr. Dre, the bonus track. It's fire. That beat, he was cooking. He was definitely cooking. Uh, next up, we got Damn by Kendrick Lamar. This thing, like I said, people don't like it as much, and I really don't understand why. It's still just as good as my opinion. The production's a little different, and that's okay. Uh, but man, damn. I remember when this came out too. But a uh, favorite song off this is Pride. I love the message of the song. And it's just like, mind blowing type of Next up, we got his newest record right here. This is a good record. This is a good record. It really is. Now, it's not as strong as his last, and I can admit that. But I still had a good time on uh, listening to this thing. I don't spin this one too much, but like I said, it is underappreciated, I feel like. Uh, favorite song off this <laughs> Father Time with Sampa actually. Now I have to pick Father Time with Sampa. It kinda hits too close to home. Cough. But yeah, here we go. Alrighty, we got the Black Panther out uh soundtrack. This one I this is one of the best soundtracks, like period. Um this is one of the best soundtracks, um, especially for such a big thing like Marvel and Black Panther. Uh, Recipes, Chadwick Boseman. Um, but no, dude, Kendrick did his thing with this. Every uh, All the songs, actually. I don't think there's one song that I can generally say I would skip. Uh, favorite song off this? Ooh, I'm going to pick Paramedic with SOPXRBE. If you know, you know. Okay, okay. Next up, we got Logic's debut album. Uh, you know, I'm so happy that Logic has been going strong for his last two records. I need to get those on vinyl. But there's a reason why this guy was considered so great with this album right here. I just, I feel like Logic gets shit on. And like, yeah, he can be corny, but like, he's a fucking person. That's what I appreciate about him. He's a generally a fucking good person, what I can tell. Um... This thing's awesome, dude. Like I said, his flow, it's stupid. It's stupid. The way he can speed up, slow down. It's good stuff, man. Uh, favorite thing off this is probably a very light or, or gang related. Alrighty, next up, we got Kanye with late registration. Um, you know, I'm just gonna say this. If we canceled every artist, there probably going to be a lot more music you'd be listening to that would be actually good. Like I said, I'm not saying I agree with Kanye. Definitely not saying that. But I'm saying I want to separate art from, you know, from the person. Because it would just complete, just kill my record collection, to be honest with you. Uh, but no, man, this thing's a classic. Uh, I need to get a graduation on vinyl. But uh, favorite song off this is Roses. Solid track. Classic right here, though. Alright. Here we have, oh, 2014 Forest Hills Drive. This is a middle school thing. Like I said, I don't bump Cole as much as I used to, but there is a time when this man was my favorite artist at one point, and this album is a big reason why. This album is fire, up and down, whole soundtrack, or, uh, Whole album, I'm not gonna skip any song. I can play through this pretty easy, actually. Um, 
yeah, man, just a lot of memories. Um, a lot of memories just going around my neighborhood at like, how old was I? Like, <laughs> like 12, just going around our neighborhood, spinning night at buddies' houses, you know? And we bumped this. Wet Dreams is my favorite song, though. <clears throat> Next up, we got Fine Line by Harry Styles. Harry Styles is a modern day David Bowie and I have had this opinion because his appearance, it crosses ways and that's fucking cool to me. Uh, like I said, it's pop, but it's also high quality pop. But Harry Styles is shit. Um, favorite song off this thing is She. I think that guitar solo, stupid. Um, Lights Up is also very close, though. Yeah. Um, let's see. We got Harry Styles. Harry Styles. Um, fun fact, I sang Sign of the Times in middle school. And, but no, this whole thing is really good, dude. This, when this thing came out, <clears throat> I remember uh, Zane was, like, the talk of the town because Zane was... Zane was the best, and in my opinion, even with me not listening to One Direction, I felt like Harry was gonna be the best. And let's be honest, Harry's fucking best. Uh, favorite song off this, Sign of the Times, if not Sign of the Times, Two Ghosts. I love that acoustic. Alrighty, next up, we got Battle at Garden's Gate by Greta Van Fleet. Um, Dude, Greta's awesome, you know. So all the people that are saying they're just like, you know, copying Led Zeppelin. Their first album, they had a lot of influences, but drumming was different. You know, they they did the pre-chorus, pre-chorus. Led Zeppelin never really did that. They didn't really have structure. So like I said, but they are ever with I feel like as more time goes on, they're growing into their own like uh, the new single that was released. Really freaking good. They are onto something. Uh, but this album right here, I don't play this as much, but it is fucking fire. Uh, favorite song off this thing. What is it called? Broken Bells and The Weight of Dreams. That guitar at the end. Good stuff. Next up, we got a classic, Hotel California. It's also another one a lot of people have, rightfully so. The Eagles are one of my favorite, like, older bands. Um, they, had, like I said, I'm from country, or I'm from Texas, so I'm used to country. So I feel like they mixed, like, a country, like, southern um, tone with classic rock really freaking well. Don Henley is the freaking man. Drumming, singing, big fan of that. Uh, Wasted Time, of course, Hotel California, and, uh, one of these nights, or not one of these nights. What is that song? I'm so sorry. I'm not this bad usually. I can't remember the other name. But very good, very good. Classic. Uh, next up, we got The Chronic by Dr. Dre. Um, this is my dad's favorite artist. My dad's a DJ. He has his own radio station right now, currently. So that's cool. But like I said, I grew up with a lot of old school hip hop, West Coast specifically. Um, Dr. Dre the Chronic, this is classic man, this is Dre, you know, with his early production, and, uh, stable, like, chill flow with those, sometimes could be corny lines, but I mean, come on now, uh, hmm, I'm gonna be corny here, nothing but G thing, baby, this is, that's probably my favorite off this thing. Uh, let's see, we got, okay, so I have a great story about this. Uh, David Bowie, um, The Rise of Paul, Diggy Star Ziggy Stardust, and The Spiders from Mars. I can't always get my words like, mixed up. But no, um, so funny story, me and my buddy Zach, shout out to Zach Collins, I love you. Uh, we, he was the only person I knew that we that collected records like I did. Of course, I didn't have as much now as I do. Uh, I don't have, I didn't have as much then as I have now. But uh, we'd see this all the time, and we literally bought this record he has his own copy and we went to our own houses and we were like dude let's listen to it not together but like 
let's listen to it right now and we'll call each other as soon as we're done listening to it and dude this album is freaking awesome david bowie is the man i need to get more david bowie i realize that i've heard all his stuff but this is actually my favorite too so it's just a coincidence it was like it was like aligned with the stars uh favorite song uh starman five years yeah awesome 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 get into this if you can Next up, we got Traveler by Chris Stapleton, my only country album as of right now. I need to get more country. I'm looking at you, Co. Um, I'm gonna be honest right here. A lot of songs on here are okay. Um, they kind of blend together after a certain point when you listen to it in its entirety. But Tennessee Whiskey is my favorite off this thing. Um, I need to get his other one though, his other album. Because that one is definitely better in my opinion. Next up, we got Billie Eilish. Um, this is whenever she was coming onto the scene. Um, this is whenever she got discovered. Uh, there's not too much to say. It was more, um, it's just more memories, like I said, a more nostalgic thing that I have this record from Billie. But yeah, this thing's solid. It has a, a red a vinyl. My favorite song off this is, I don't wanna be anymore. up we have metallica's black album my stepdad's a huge metallica fan um i got this record because it was on sale but over time i've definitely grown to love metallica i need to get their other albums um but this thing dude i can listen to it and there's no skips um favorite song off this besides enter sandman is holier than thou but this thing right here this is a classic classic uh hard rock Maroon 5, songs about Jane. Um, this is the only Maroon 5 album I'm ever going to have because after their sophomore, everything went to shit, in my opinion. Um, but no, man, this thing's easy. It's It, it flows. It's pretty It's pretty fun. Um, but no, this just, it just, it's one of those records I'm not going to skip if I, if it's on, you know. Uh, favorite song of this is Sunday Morning. Okay, I don't have a lot of soundtracks. Like I said, I have that Black Panther one, and then I also have this one, um, Saturday Night Fever with John Travolta. Uh, I grew up with this movie, it's fucking awesome. And then the Bee Gees happen to be on like half the songs. It's really good. If you've never seen this movie, um, it's fucking cool, dude. John Travolta dancing, you know, being a little asshole. Sounds like a good time to me. And plus, he has a cool chin, and I wish I had his chin. Uh, but back to this, I'm not really going to name a favorite, because it's... I mean, I guess I can. How Deep Is Your Love by Bee Gees. Next up, we have The Car by The Arctic Monkeys, their most recent record. Uh, the first time I heard it, I was in love with this thing. I feel like nobody's talking about it, because it is fucking solid, in my opinion. It's a different direction. They have a new spin, they are like incorporating 70s into it, and they got some piano, and it's just like, it's, it's cool lounge music, you know. Uh, favorite song off this though has to be The Big, uh, big Ideas, Big Ideas, because it sounds James Bond, it sounds like James Bond, but if you're an Arctic Monkeys fan, you know, besides um, AM, listen to this, because it is really good. Next up, we got ACDC, um, Back in Black. Um, I just like to throw this on sometimes whenever I'm not in like a give a fuck kind of mood, you know what I'm saying? Where I just want to thrash my head a bit. Uh, it's really easy to listen to. There's no really skipping on this. Um, I think my favorite song off this uh, is probably Hell Spells, but yeah. Next up, we got uh, Positions by Ariana. Um, gorgeous woman right here. Uh, honestly, I got this record because it was like super cheap, like $13 cheap. And I was like, it's okay enough. I want a huge collection. Might as well just get it. Plus it has this cool little, uh, same one as that uh, beer bongs. It's kind of like that. 
But yeah, favorite thing off the favorite song off this is uh. Mm. Motive or shut up. Alrighty, next up we got a tribe called Quest Midnight Marauders. This is a classic hip hop album. All their records are good. They're one of the few artists where every album they seem to put out is very high quality. Uh, if you haven't listened to this, like I said, it's just good. Like boom bap, just uh, New York rap. Uh, favorite song off this ele electric relaxation. Alrighty, next up we got Charles Gambino with Because of the Internet. I'll be honest too, this is another record I picked up. I don't exactly love it. In fact, the story still confuses me. But it's decent enough where I was like, I'll just get it because it's on sale. Why not? Uh, favorite off this is 3005. It's just, it's just a good song. Alrighty. Next up, this album right here. So, I would argue this album right here, Awaken My Love, it has the best beginning song and the last song of almost any, uh, almost some of the best, uh, it has the best opening and ending of any album I've heard. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, Experiment as Hell has all kinds of uh, influences like funk, psychedelic, soul. It's just... Donald Glover was in his bag during this, besides California. I don't like California at all. But, uh, Me and Your Mama and Stan Tall are my favorites. I can't pick. <laughs> Next up, 24 Carat by Bruno Mars. It's another one of those albums. It's just a really fun listen. It's easy to listen to. I can't really be in a bad mood after I'm done spinning this thing. Um, yeah, it's just, also I got this after uh, Silk Sonic because that's how much Silk Sonic really like blew my mind. Uh, favorite song is uh, Versace and the Floor. Alrighty, next up we have my favorite band probably Radiohead and Rainbows. Um, this album blew my mind, honestly. Um, if you're really like trying to get into like if you're trying to get into like experimental music in a way, um, this is a good entry way where it's not too crazy, but it's also like electronic and it has cool guitar riffs and it has these high falsettos. It's just a really good album. Um, I don't know how somebody could listen to this and say it's objectively bad. Even if it's not for you, this album is fucking shit, bro. Uh, so many good things off this, Weird Fishes, 15 uh, steps, I believe. Reckoner. But I'll probably say Nude. Nude is probably my favorite. I don't know if something about it going quiet and being stripped down. It's just. It's good. To Pimp a Butterfly, another cat classic um, right here. Kendrick Lamar as well. That means all I only need um, Untitled and Mastered. And I think my Kendrick album collection is done. But no, man, this is considered a top five album, just period, from a lot of people, including myself. This is in my top five records of all time. Like I said, the storytelling, Good Kid, Mad City is awesome. No knock on it, but he ups that. And it's kind of interesting how you top something that's already considered perfect. But this thing right here, dude, there's so much, uh, there's so much behind it. There's so much story in it. There's so much, um, there's just a lot in this album, whether you're talking about music, like instruments or just lyrics, you know, there's so much to unpack from this record right here. Um, although there are a lot of good songs on this, All Right is my favorite, just so I, just so I can, just cause I can sing every word to it. But other than that, this is an awesome, awesome record. Of course, it's a classic, modern day classic. All right, next up, we have Michael Jackson's Thriller. There's no really explaining this. It's Michael Jackson, not too much to be said. It's probably, it's one of the like most old records of all time, I believe. It's Thriller, man. Um, Lady of My Life, though, is deeply underrated and it's so, so good and nobody talks about it like ever. And that is my favorite song, obviously. 
Alrighty. Next up, I got Savage Mode 2. My boy Zach got me this, actually. Shout out to Zach again. Uh, this is one of those albums, too, that I just play front to back, and it's just fucking fire. I need to get Heroes and Villains, because I feel like that is also very up to par with this. But Savage Mode 2, it's 21 Savage, cool-ass delivery, Metro Room production, with, like, these, like, haunting-ass fucking beats. It's fucking shit. It's fucking the shit. Um... Rich shit is probably my uh, favorite off this thing. I can't pronounce it for obvious reasons, but no, this album's fucking cool, dude. And plus, the artwork is one of my favorite artworks. And you got that right right there. Let's take a sip. I need a sip. Alrighty, next up we got the weekend house of plumes this is my favorite uh weekend project of all time uh this is classic year a weekend um this is for when you don't be toxic as fuck let's just be fucking honest um this is that dark ass r&b that brent fire is on right now by the way shout out to brent fire i need to get his shit too uh but no man this thing is fucking cool the album cover is fucking sick with the girl i probably have to cover that up actually yeah i probably have to cover that up but no this album right here dude is every song on here fucking hits it hits it's just dark toxic as r&b so yeah uh favorite song off this is probably what you need what you need dark and ambient goes crazy all right and next up we got bleach by nirvana um this thing is like rough in your face doesn't give a fuck this is early nirvana um really fucking solid stuff i didn't like this when i first listened to it and the more i listened to it i kind of put myself in the mindset where you probably don't have to give a fuck when you listen to it in the best way possible this thing goes fucking hard uh favorite song off this though oh wait actually look that's like a silver it's a really cool pressing favorite song off this though Good lord, I can't even think right now. It's something with a girl. Like I said, I'm blanking for whatever reason. Um, but no, man, that was awesome. Next up, we got another one that a lot of vinyl heads have. It's Flower Boy, rightfully so. Uh, this is an album that I've appreciated with more time. Um, I can't pick a favorite Tyler album, but I can say that this album it just it's just springtime it's just springtime it just reminds me of springtime like listen to this thing without skipping at it at all as well um not much to be said with this album to be honest that hasn't been already said the lush production um his introspective lyrics about his sexuality good stuff though uh favorite song off this is boredom though because this is the, that's the first like tyler track i was actually fucking with like ever Alrighty. Next up, we got Stony. Like I said, this is a uh, middle school stuff territory right here. Uh, this is when I was in my Post Malone bag. Stony's awesome, dude. Uh, I think Stony is his best record. If you're gonna say beer bongs and Bentleys, I'm not gonna argue with that. Um, it's just more consistent for me, even though the highs are higher on beer bongs. Just more consistent. I can also play this thing without skipping any songs because I just think every song on here is good up there. Um, of course, White Iverson. Good, 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 good. And then, like I said, it has like a, it has like an orange spread. It's like orange red. Uh, we only got a few more to go. We don't have too much. It's already pretty long. <laughs> uh, Dr. Dre, two thousand one. Like I said, my dad's favorite artist. I have his first two albums, rightfully so. Uh, like I said. Dr. Dre was coming back from a big time where people were doubting him at this point, and uh, he definitely snapped on this production-wise, to be honest with you. X Explosive, uh, that's my favorite song off this thing. It's fucking vulgar, it's pimp, it's fucking hip-hop. Alrighty, Nectar by Joji. This was crucial during COVID for me. This thing helped me out during COVID, because that shit was kind of whack, and I was kind of sad during COVID. And if you know Joji, 
that's probably the sad boy shit right there. Uh, but no, man, this album is definitely not talked about enough, I feel like, in my opinion. It's not mind-blowing by any means, but it's just good comfort. Um, Lucky Do is my favorite song off it, because like I said, I was sad, and that's a good reason why, because Lucky Do is very sad. Alrighty, we got my girl Amy Winehouse, Back to Black. Um, I'm so sad she passed away. I need to get her other record, but very interesting voice. Um, I feel like she kind of inspired Kelly Uchis in her delivery just a bit, and Lana just a bit. I don't know, maybe. Um, another album that has so many good tracks, Back to Black, Rehab, um, Me and Mr. Jones, but my favorite song off this is... Love is a losing game. Because it's kind of depressing, but shit like that happens all the time in life. Alright. Next up, we got Current by Tim and Paula. What now more needs to be said by this thing? This was once my favorite album. It was probably my second or third. Those were soon to be revealed. Um, no, man, this album right here fucking blew my mind. Um, mixing pop and psychedelic and alternative and indie. Kevin Parker playing all the instruments. Of course, we know all that, but it's just... It's such high fucking quality, and this is an album that needs to be played on vinyl, in my opinion. It's just, it's fucking wavy, it's flowy. Uh, favorite song is Nangs, because I feel like it's repeating because it will never be resolved. The whole sentence he's saying. Alrighty, we got OK Computer. This also competes in the second or third of my favorite albums, along with Currents. Uh, this is considered a classic album by people who listen to this thing because it's fucking awesome, bro. They were ahead of their time. You listen to this, and 20 years later, nothing sounds like this. It's just, the soundscape is fucking nuts. Uh, they were in their fucking bag. The guitar riffs are fucking just so fucking different, and, like, you just don't hear shit like that at all. But, yeah, um, Climbing Up the Walls is my favorite off this thing, um, I don't know the ending where it just fucking explodes. It just fucking melts my brain, dude. Alrighty. Next up, <laughs> Titanic Rising. This is a sad ass record, I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, there's a story and there's a concept of it, and every song on here is non skippable. Uh, this is in a top 10 record of all time for me. It's just so fucking good. Uh, why is blood not a lot of people know of her and it kind of shame it's kind of sad that they don't because this is really good story a uh, story singer songwriter type shit right here favorite song though a lot's gonna change uh, i have records all over me that's great next up we got rage against the machine their debut album um this thing right here it's the bass lines are fucking groovy the drums fucking hit. Uh, Zach's fucking delivery and his raps. Um, like I said, wherever you stand politically, that's cool. Uh, but I don't know. Even if you're not like with that side, I feel like you can get down with the fucking groove of this and the anger of some songs. Uh, Bomb Trek is my favorite song. This. Alrighty. We got AM. By Arctic Monkeys. Not a lot that needs to be said. It's a really classic, like, alternative fucking record. It was inspired by hip hop, so that's even cooler. Uh, Alex Turner. This is probably the easiest record to listen to. Um, I don't know. It just fits a fine line where it's accessible, but it's not too, like, heavy, I feel like, for people to listen to this thing. But. Oh man, it's just good shit. Um, favorite song off this is probably Are You Mine. Just makes you feel like a badass that needs a secret. Alrighty, next up, this is another, uh, this is actually my only greatest hits album I have. It's Jamie Rokai. If you don't know Jamie Rokai, please check out Jamie Rokai. He is so groovy, so fun, so... It just makes you want to dance, to be honest, man. Any Jamie Rokai song will make you want to dance. Uh, the only reason why I got this is because it's very hard to find his albums. 
and this is my first time just seeing a greatest hits and i was like i don't know if i'll ever see this thing again so i'm gonna purchase it and it has not let me down because i play this thing a lot <laughs> oh a uh, favorite song off that is probably all right or virtual insanity uh this is my favorite arctic monkey song our album um it's your debut album whatever people say i'm not um i think this thing is punchy it's a uh, garage rock at its fucking best the lyrics are quirky it's just so much fun to listen to this is one of the funnest albums i have um i don't know if you've only listened to am please give their other stuff out a chance it's gonna be different but difference not always bad but i feel like a lot of people who listen to this will also tell you this is probably their best record. <laughs> I just can't skip a single fucking song off this. Uh, favorite song off this, though, is When the Sun Goes Down. Next up, we got Harry's House, Harry Styles. This is one of my favorite albums last year. It's just such an easy listen. It's pop done so well. Uh, first time I listened to it, I did not like this thing at all. I gave it more tries as it was. It's stuck in my head all the time. But no, this thing is just fun. It's enjoyable. Uh, except Matilda. Matilda's a different story. It'll tear you up if it's to the right person. Uh, favorite song off this is probably Satellite. So yeah. Good shit, Harry. Big Harry Styles fan over here. Next up is my favorite record of all time. That is Jeff Buckley's Grace. I'm so sad this man passed away because um, this dude had a voice unlike anybody else I've ever heard. I don't know, man. Uh, Grace by Jeff Buckley just tears me up every time I listen to it. Uh, there's a song for every mood, I feel like. There's upbeat songs. There's songs that are so slow. But there's songs that are so like lovey-dovey, touchy like feelings. There's songs that are spiritual. There's songs that are catchy. I just feel like if you haven't heard this album, Jeff Buckley Grace, it's gonna make you it's gonna make you realize that this thing's fucking it's goaded. It's so good. Uh favorite song and my favorite song of all time is Lover You Should Have Come Over. Alrighty. Next up we have Guns N' Roses, Appetite for Destructions. By the way, thank you, Amazon, for fucking this once again. Um, I don't know, man. It's just classic rock, really easy to listen to. Um, and not, not much that needs to be said. You know, classic guitar riffs by Slash himself. This is their best album, for sure. I need to get their other two, though. Um, but my favorite song will probably be... <laughs> probably Nitrate. Nitrate gets me good. Alrighty, next up we have my most played record and that is Turnstile with the uh, Glow On. This is pop, uh, what's it called, not pop, like bedroom pop mixed with like pop punk, like garage rock. It is so much fucking fun because the energy these guys bring, it's just like, it's second to none. Like you can just feel what they're fucking just shouting at while they just like groove on stage, bro. This is a fun ass record. I can't skip this thing. I've listened to it a thousand times. I'm gonna listen to it a thousand more because I just can't get tired of it. The guitar riffs are fucking cool. Their drum, they have like some like drum breakdowns which is like, and the singer's fucking just like shouting at the top of his lungs while you feel that shit. Favorite song off here is probably Fly Again, but there's Blackout, Holiday, underwater boy people need to be talking about them more they were on a Taco Bell commercial so they're getting recognition but still alrighty next up we got Kanye West his first uh, debut album the college dropout um, this is Kanye before he went crazy um, but he was so interesting at this time because people doubted him that Kanye documentary if you've seen it you know but nah, man, this thing's, this thing's good back and forth. I can play this one pretty easy too with no skips. Uh, favorite song though is All Falls Down. It's All Falls Down, come on out. 
Alrighty, next up, we got a Little Yachty. Uh, this is my recent record. Uh, let's start here. Um, you know, I can get why people don't like this. It might be too left field and weird for them, or it might be a Pink Floyd ripoff, specifically the first song. The first song. But it's so much fun. Like, I just... Records don't sound like this anymore, and that's why I probably you like. I love this thing actually. I don't know though. Lil Yachty was on something for sure. He was definitely on something. Um, very psychedelic. It can be groovy at times. It can be catchy. The production on here is fucking nuts. The guitar solos they have in this thing is fucking killer. Uh, favorite song off this is the last track of Daniel Caesar. I can't quite remember what the name is, but yeah. And then I got one more, one more, one more. <laughs> Alrighty, next up we have, or last up actually, we have Swimming and In Circles. Um, it's this little box set deal that comes with both. Um, I need to get all the Max projects because he is one of my favorite rappers of all time. Bless his heart. This was my most expensive at $130, but I don't give a fuck. It was well worth it. I don't play this at all, actually, just because, I don't know, I feel like I can't play this one. I shouldn't. Um, so I've yet to play it. But no, man, Mac was fucking different. And it's, it's, he, he was generally gone too soon. Uh, favorite song off of Swimming is Small World Circles is Everybody because his vocals kill me. But that's going to be all. Um, if you've skipped through it, if you've watched the whole thing, if you watched a little bit, I appreciate you. Um, I just want to talk music. Uh, and maybe I'll upload more. You know, Maybe I'll go in depth with some of these and I'll keep it updated with records I get. Uh, but yeah, um, thank you guys. And uh, hopefully we'll see you later.